Now come and worship and bow down and kneel before our Maker. You're our God and we're your flock, the people of your pasture. Good afternoon. Welcome to the Daily Office and thank you for joining me. This is evening prayer for Sunday, March 17th. And the scripture for this service, Psalm 145. Mark chapter 8, verse 31, to chapter 9, verse 1, and 1 Samuel chapter 2, verse 1 through 10. O God, come to my assistance, make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. I exalt you, my God, my ruler, and I bless your name forever and ever. Psalm 145. I exalt you, my God, and my ruler, and I bless your name forever and ever. Every day I bless you. I praise your name forever and ever. Great are you, my God, and greatly to be praised, and your glory is awesome. One generation shall tell the next your works and declare your mighty deeds. I speak of the glorious honor of your majesty and of your wondrous works, and peoples shall speak of your terrible acts, and I will declare your greatness. They shall publish the memory of your great goodness and shall sing of your righteousness. You are gracious and full of compassion slow to anger and of great loving kindness. You are good to all and your tender mercies are over all your works. All your works shall praise you and your saints shall bless you. They shall speak of the glory of your reign and talk of your power to make known to the people your mighty acts and the glory of your strength. Your dominion is an everlasting dominion and your strength endures from one generation to the next. You uphold all that fall and raise all that are bowed down. The eyes of the people wait upon you, and you give them their food in due season. You open your hand, and you sate the desire of every living thing. You are righteous in all your ways and holy in all your works. You are close to all that call upon you, to all that call upon you in truth. You will fulfill the desires of all who fear you. You hear their cry and save them. You preserve all who love you, but all the wicked you will destroy. My mouth shall speak your praise. Let all flesh bless your holy name forever and ever. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word, and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. I exalt you, my God, my ruler, and I bless your name forever and ever. The lesson is from the Holy Gospel according to Mark, chapter 8, beginning at verse 31. Then Jesus began to teach them that the Son of Man must undergo great suffering and be rejected by the elders, the chief priests, and the scribes, and be killed and after three days rise again. He said this all quite openly, and Peter took him aside and began to rebuke him. But turning and looking at his disciples, he rebuked Peter and said, Get behind me, Satan! For you are setting your mind not on divine things, but on human things. And Jesus called the crowd with his disciples and said to them, If any want to become my followers, let them deny themselves and take up their cross and follow me. For those who want to save their life will lose it. And those who lose their life for my sake and for the sake of the gospel will save it. For what will it profit them to gain the whole world and forfeit their life? Indeed, what can they give in return for their life? Those who are ashamed of me and ashamed of my words in this adulterous and sinful generation, of them the Son of Man will also be ashamed 
when he comes in the glory of his Father with all the holy angels. And Jesus said to them, Truly I tell you, there are some standing here who will not taste death until they see the kingdom of God has come with power. Here ends the lesson. Now let us offer our prayers and petitions. Show us your mercy, O God, and grant us your salvation. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. Let your people sing with joy. Give peace in Jerusalem and in all the world, for only in you can we live in safety. Keep this nation under your care and guide us in the ways of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon the earth and your saving health among all the nations. Let not the needy be forgotten, nor the hope of the poor taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God. Sustain us by your Holy Spirit. And for all of your intentions. Our beloved which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. My heart rejoices in my God most high. My strength is exalted in God my Savior. You alone are holy. There is no God besides you. There is no rock like our God. Brag no more and stop your arrogant talk, for the Most High is a God of knowledge, and by God actions are weighed. The bows of the mighty are broken, and they that stumbled are girded with strength. They that were full have hired themselves out for bread, and they that were hungry are fat with spoil. The barren has borne seven, and she that has many children is forlorn. O God, you kill and you bring to life, you bring down to the grave, and you raise up. You make the poor, you make the rich, you bring down and you exalt. You raise the poor out of the dust, and you lift the beggar from the dunghill to set them among the leaders and to make them inherit the throne of glory. For the pillars of the earth are yours, and you have set the world upon them. You will guard the feet of your saints by the wicked, and the wicked shall be silent in darkness, for by strength alone shall no one prevail. Your adversaries shall be broken to pieces. Out of heaven you shall thunder upon them. You shall judge the ends of the earth and exalt the strength of your anointed. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Bless Jesus, my soul, and may the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen.